Now, the Independent Police Complaints Commission has announced it will investigate procedural irregularities in a police investigation into the conduct of three officers accused of giving misleading accounts of a meeting with the MP Andrew Mitchell. The announcement follows a report by the Home Affairs Select Committee which accused Police Federation officers of giving misleading evidence. They've now been recalled to Parliament to apologise, as James Blake reports. Just 11 days ago, key figures from the police were hauled in front of the Home Affairs Committee to answer questions about Andrew Mitchell and the so-called Plebgate affair. They must have hoped this would be the end of it. But today the committee report pulls no punches in its criticism. It describes one officer as mendacious and says it's appalled he misled the committee. It says the actions of a chief constable was extraordinary and there was an absence of leadership across three forces. In the row which followed the false allegations, the chief whip had called police plebs. Andrew Mitchell was asked to meet representatives from the police federation. But afterwards, their account of the discussion contradicted an audio recording he had made. He will not tell us what he, he did say. Policemen must be honest and truthful whenever they're doing their job or anything to do with their job. They plainly weren't here, either when dealing with Andrew Mitchell or when dealing with the select committee. The three were called to the committee to explain themselves. Two are now being ordered back to apologise or be in contempt of Parliament. The narrative of what we saw in this 45-minute meeting could rival any great work of fiction. At every point and at every level, the process seems to have obstructed the truth. This is no longer about what Andrew Mitchell didn't say here at Downing Street. It's way beyond that now. This is about the Home Affairs Committee accusing police officers of being misleading, accusing a chief constable of seeking to correct the evidence of another and accusing three police forces of failing to conduct a proper investigation. West Mercia Police was tasked with leading that inquiry into these three. The investigating officer believed they had a case to answer, but that view was dropped from the final report. Today, the IPCC announced a new and independent investigation. What is now clear is that the final report I received did not contain the opinion of the investigating officer. Therefore, for the purposes of the legislation, I consider that in fact there is no final report. The IPCC, the Independent Police Complaints Commission, have talked about irregularities and by that they, they appear to be saying uh, that the correct process was not followed. They're not saying there was a cover-up, they have not used that language, but clearly this did not go as it should have done. It does not look professional. One of the Police Federation officers, Inspector McHale, is still waiting to see if he too will be called back to the committee. The other two will return on Tuesday, where they're expected to say sorry.